हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स डिस्कस अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम जे एम एन टू थाउजेंड लेवन फ्रॉम द चैप्टर इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स क्वेश्चन से इज दैट टू आइडेंटिकल चार्ज स्पीयर्स आर हैंग फ्रॉम एट पॉइंट बाई ए मासलेस स्ट्रिंग सच दैट दर इज अ फोर्स बिटवीन द स्पीयर्स ड्यू टू फोर्स द डिस्टेंस इज डी बिटवीन स्पीयर्स विच इज वेरी लेस दैन लेंथ ऑफ स्ट्रिंग then charge start begin star started leaking with a constant rate as a result this <coughs> charges approaches each other with a velocity v now we have to find velocity v as a function of x which of the following relation is right so to solve this question we can use the concept of force see as per the question Two spheres of mass m are hanged by a string. Let the tension on the string be t. If this is theta, say this is theta. This is theta. T cos theta. This will be t sin theta. Resolved into mg. Mg is acting downwards. Then force of repulsion is acting here. And force between two charges is given by k q square by distance square. Our distance keep on changing because charge is. Going means charges being leaked at a constant rate. Now we can write T sine theta by T cos theta equal to K Q square by X square that is F E by M G M G that is tan theta equals k q square by x square mg now also from the figure let's say this distance be x then this distance be x by 2 so tan theta equals x by 2 divided by If this is L, then L square minus x by two whole square will be this length. Root of L square plus x by two whole square. So tan theta equals. As our distance is very very less than the length of the string, due to the leakage of charges, this sphere will start approaching each other. With a repulsive force, but <coughs> this distance is too small. So x by two by then x by two whole square will be again too small. So you can neglect this part. Remaining will be root of l square. Root of l square is l. So x by two l. So we have tan theta equal to k q square by x square mg and x by two l. Equating both, x by two l equals k q square by x square mg. Or and our charge q can be written as. Q equal to or Q is proportional to. This is a constant value. This is also a constant value. So Q is proportional to x cube. Q square is proportional to x cube. So Q is proportional to x raised to three by two. Now the charge is discharging 
at a constant rate so which will be equal to 3 by 2 x raised to 1 by 2 into dx by dt now dx by dt is our velocity so velocity is proportional to x raised to minus half because charge is this value is a constant right given the question it is discharging at a constant rate so 1 by x raised to half is x raised to minus half so velocity v is proportional to x raised to minus half so velocity is proportional to x raised to minus half we have done your first equator tan theta tan theta is equal to force by mg and tan theta from figure equal to x by 2l after equating and finding dq by dt we got v is proportional to x raised to minus half so x raised to minus half is our option a and a is the right answer to know more about the concept of force between the charges you can watch the video here which is of small duration and you can get more questions from here by scrolling and this concept are available in the book ncrt then electricity and magnetism by dc pante hc verma etc thank you students